The United States Army is investing millions of dollars in experimental exoskeleton technology to make soldiers stronger and more resilient, as part of a larger push to equip a new generation of super soldiers, according to experts. But with Elon Musk Neuralink, this technology will become obsolete as his neurotech directly connects humans to computers. Did Elon Musk successfully make his own version of Captain America or Wolverine, perhaps? Want to know more about this? Then stay tuned till the very end. Hello, and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and you don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. We are going to tell you how Elon Musk just deployed super soldiers to weaponize the US Army. Elon Musk is attempting to conquer the land with Tesla, space with SpaceX, and now he's after our minds. The tech mogul has created a new company called Neuralink that focuses on connecting brains to computers. According to the report, the company develops brain implant technology that might be used to treat neurological problems in the future. But what if Elon Musk utilized this technology to create super soldiers? Imagine a soldier who could withstand pain, extreme cold, or the need to sleep. In 2017, President Vladimir Putin warned that humanity could soon create something worse than a nuclear bomb. We've seen similar technology in impressive applications before, such as the University of Minnesota's EEG-based brain-computer interface, which allows people to control a robotic arm using only their minds. The Walk Again Project's brain-machine interface, which allows the user to control the movements of a lower-limb robotic exoskeleton, and DARPA-funded research out of the University of Pittsburgh, which helped a quadriplegic man feel the sense of toughness again by Dyer. According to the report, Neuralink has already employed a number of top experts in the sector. Neuralink's implants could enable the human species to keep up with super-intelligent machines. Musk has been vocal about the dangers of unregulated artificial intelligence to humans. In January 2015, he signed an open letter on artificial intelligence from the Future of Life Institute with Stephen Hawking and other AI specialists, calling for more research on the societal benefits of AI as well as potential hazards. Musk stated in a tweet that further details on the new venture will be available in roughly a week. Musk hinted earlier this week that he was one step closer to achieving this goal and that he planned to demonstrate it via a live webcast on Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Neuralink is a long way from achieving its ultimate goal of making brain surgery as simple and as safe as, for example, LASIK. Musk, on the other hand, stated on Twitter that the business was prepared to demonstrate a functional V2 of the device, which it first revealed to the public last summer. According to his prior statements, the display will demonstrate neurons firing in real time. It's a matrix within a matrix. The device developed by Neuralink is a tiny computer chip that is intended to be stitched into the brain by a sewing machine-like robot using a network of superfine electrode-studded wires. According to the manufacturer, it is designed to pick up brain signals and translate them into movement commands. Many in the field see employing these brain interfaces to operate things like a prosthetic limb or even to communicate with modern electronic devices such as smartphones and tablets. Musk, in classic Muskian manner, has some more audacious plans in mind. The ever-arching goal of Neuralink's mission, according to him, is to assist people create a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The Army desires to provide soldiers with a third arm. It is possible that Army ground personnel could soon have a third arm that will carry their weapon on their behalf. The equipment in question is not some sort of a cruel joke, but rather a device that attaches to a soldier's protective vest, allowing the soldier to free up his or her hands in order to carry a shield or, for example, operate a power saw during a breach. When it comes to innovative ways for soldiers to interface with their weapons, the Army Research Lab is now evaluating a four-pound weapon mount as part of its ongoing research. It is hoped that the lab would be able to increase ballistic performance of future weapons without raising military load, according to Zach Wingard, a mechanical engineer at the facility. In other words, when soldiers start carrying handheld laser weapons and railguns, their combat weights, which already surpassed 110 pounds, will almost certainly increase. The third arm bears the entire weight of the soldier's body, removing approximately 20 pounds from their arms. This could save soldiers from collapsing during training long before they see a day in war. According to the research lab, the third arm is composed of carbon fiber composite. It is currently being tested at the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland with an M4 carbine. However, it is intended to be tested with larger weapons, such as the M240B machine gun later. Researchers are currently at the shooting range, and before they can conduct any field testing, they must first ruggedize the proof of concept. Tesla CEO Elon Musk isn't the only one pursuing this ambition. 
Colonel, a comparable business to Braintree, has been in development for some years by Brian Johnson, the founder of Braintree. According to Paradromics CEO Matt Angle, the company has begun work on a medical-facing neural interface that will be built at a scale that is 10 times that of what Neuralink is doing. Mark Zuckerberg has also expressed interest in brain-computer interface technology. After demonstrating a device that would allegedly allow users to hear with their skin during the company's developer conference in 2017, Facebook purchased CTRL Labs, which is developing a non-invasive neural interface. The issue in many projects, particularly invasive ones such as Neuralink, is not simply in the construction of the device itself. There's also the brain, which is a biological hellscape that will attempt to devour any foreign material that is introduced into it. Years of clinical studies are required in order to develop a brain chip that can be utilized in humans. These devices must be approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Moreover, in order to reach Neuralink's ultimate objective of connecting human to machine, the company will first need to persuade healthy people to open up their skulls in order to accept the implant. It's possible that Musk will take the initiative, given his cult-like following and obsession with the subject of space travel. Those who will be participating in the rally on Friday have already begun exchanging ideas and spreading stories about what will go place. Will Neuralink announce the results of any human clinical trials? Perhaps. Is this a sign that you'll be able to utilize one of its devices in the near future? In no way, shape, or form. At the very least, Musk is a showman, and his firms have a way of presenting videos of the future that few others have dared to imagine. It's likely to be one that's worth your time to watch, not to mention the fact that Musk has guaranteed that the demo will blow your mind. Elon Musk's SpaceX and the US military plan to build a rocket capable of delivering 80 metric tons of cargo anywhere in the world in 60 minutes. Under a newly agreed contract, SpaceX will assess the costs and technical challenges of the project, while initial tests are expected in 2021. General Stephen Lyons, the head of U.S. Transportation Command, said Wednesday at a virtual conference. A 7,652-mile journey from Florida to Afghanistan could be completed within about an hour with such a high-speed rocket, which could travel at 7,500 miles per hour per the times. In comparison, a U.S. C-17 Globemaster, a military transport aircraft costing $218 million, with a maximum speed of 590 miles per hour, would complete this journey in about 15 hours. Think about moving the equivalent of a C-17 payload anywhere on the globe in less than an hour, Lyons said. I can tell you SpaceX is moving very, very rapidly in this area. I'm really excited about the team that's working with SpaceX. Another aerospace company, Exploration Architecture Corporation, will also be part of the research program. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk in 2002, has already developed the Falcon 9, a reusable rocket designed to carry 22 metric tons of cargo and land vertically in a controlled descent. The plan comes days after SpaceX landed a $149 million contract to build missile tracking satellites for the Pentagon, indicating that the aerospace firm is ramping up its military contracts. As part of the deal, SpaceX will build four satellites fitted with wide-angle infrared missile tracking sensors in its assembly plant in Washington, where the firm builds satellites for its Starlink internet project. Okay folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.